Hey, Hi Rock. My name is Bryn, and I'm one of the pastors here, and I miss church. I was talking with a Hi Rocker yesterday in my backyard, and we were catching up, and she opened the conversation that way. I miss church in the way that so many of you open conversations with me these days. And I get it. I miss church, too. I miss being able to see everyone regularly. I miss singing together and serving together and laughing together and grieving together and celebrating together and praying together. Personally, I miss preaching. I miss preaching to like real live human beings instead of to my computer screen, which does not laugh at any of my jokes. But as my conversation with this high rocker progressed, she began to share with me something else. She talked about the ways that the church has continued to show up for her even now in presence from a distance in checking in and, and serving from afar, in offering words of wisdom and encouragement and prayer. And at one point in the conversation, she paused and she said, yeah, I miss church, but I definitely haven't been without the church. Many of you have heard me share about Ephesians 3, 14 to 21, and how this passage has been really speaking to me in this liminal space, in this season of transition of betwixt and between. And I've shared that in this passage, I'm drawn to an invitation from verse three, or chapter three, verse 20, to ask and imagine what the church can become, not in our own power, but in God's power. But this week, as I was thinking about this passage, it taught me something in a different way. In verse 17, Paul prays for the church to be rooted and established in love. Now, so much of our church life, we act like we are rooted and established in other things than love, like things like programs and buildings and pulpit time. But when we are at our best, and this is the true gift of this season, when we are at our best, when we are being all that God intends us to be, we are rooted and established in love. And wiping away everything else that we do in regular time can show us just how rooted and established in love the church can be. That's it. And if that's what the church is meant to be, then right now, even while we miss church, we definitely don't have to be without the church. So our staff team has created a series of super short videos and updates sharing about how we can continue to stay rooted and established in love through different areas of ministry this fall to stay connected to the church and to scripture and to God together. So we'd invite you to watch the ones that apply to you by clicking below on the links, or you can watch the whole reel here. Let's continue to stay rooted and established in what matters in Christ's love, church. Here are some ways to do that.